Hi everyone, welcome to weekly vlog 30. So, it is Tuesday. If you are new to my channel, then look at every weekly vlog for the last however long and you'll see why I don't record on a Monday. But it's Tuesday. I spent a lot of the morning replying to emails. I've had some really cool emails through. Like, one of the things that I'm going to be doing a video on is so cool. I can't wait to show you. So, hopefully that'll arrive in the next couple of weeks. But I'm currently just waiting on... Um, we've literally just come out, me and Matthew. It's his last day off of his four days in a row. Um, so yesterday we didn't get to hang out too much because I was doing the weekly vlog and stuff But today we are going to a place called Crook Hall, which is in County Durham We've never been and I don't even know how because we're, we've just found it now and it's in a place that we come past So I don't know how we didn't know it was there, but it has a maze in it It has nine different gardens. It has a hall which is 800 years old. It has a calf. It has all sorts So I'm in Durham now. Matthew's gonna go and get some change so that we can park the car and I'm just waiting Um because we've got to walk like along to the place so he's going to get changed to park the car and then when he gets back we'll pay for the parking and we're going to go into Crook Hall and I'm really excited to spend another day with Matthew and I really love places like this and I want to go in the maze and all that so it's going to be really cool so yeah I'll take you guys in with us so we've been handed this sheet and the first thing that we've come across is the maze there's two entrances do you actually want to race? I want to do it together though why are you scared? well I'm aware that there's a lot of children around and I don't really want to like get stuck with loads of kids. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till you go ahead and go home. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> left or right? Uh, oh, I would have said left. Left then? What are you asking me for? No, it? right. You're right. Let's go right. It's not very. <laughs> You're pretty obvious, like Matthew. <laughs> it's not very tall, is it? Left or right? I'll go left. No, I want to go right. I think it's getting a bit taller. Oh no. It's not taller for you. Yeah, it's getting taller. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, there's another place to go down. This is confusing. Do we leave the maze? Quiet corner. No, it's too cool. I want to go in the quiet corner. You need to get in the centre. Let's <laughs> see a pink hair over the top. <laughs> How did you get over there? Did you hear me talking to myself? No. I was like, for God's sake, this is not amazing. It just keeps going <laughs> round. I was looking, I could see like your pink hair like bobbing over the top now. And then. <laughs> Don't get take round, Get round here, man. No one of you alone in this place. I'm expecting Jared the Goblin King to pop out. Where's he gone? What was that? You wish. <laughs> you wish Jared to pop out here. How rude. It's a dead end. Although some children have clearly made a bit of a a bit of a thing, but it's supposed to be a dead end, so turn around Matthew. <laughs> Matthew! Get back around here. Come Cut. on. Where are you? Back that way. I'm lost. Matthew! <laughs> <laughs> are you going that way? No, I'll come back around. Yeah, I thought I'd never find you again, Dom. This looks like it's cozy. Yes. How are we going to get out of here once we get in? <laughs> yeah, we're well, going to the cozy corner. Well. Dead end. It's a dead end. Look at your face. I'm actually confused. <laughs> I just want to go and die. Come on. Quite a few. <laughs> Mr. Smee? Why is Mr. Smee in the middle? We're in the middle. We made it. Why is Mr. Smee here? How bizarre. If it was a meet and greet with Mr. Smee, I'd be so happy. Yay, we made it. <laughs> Start over there. Start over there. That was fun. 
Now we have to get back out, so. I know, I don't know how we're going to get out there. It took ages. I'm knackered. There should be like a little tea shop in the middle. There should so. be, but there's just a Mr. Schmee. Schmee. Yeah, man. Oh. What are you doing? How did you get hurt? <laughs> Love you. Have I gone the wrong way? <laughs> Stop it. Come around. <laughs> She's run away. She thinks she can get away from me. Did I get you? Yeah. <laughs> Did I scare you? No, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell them what's going on here, Matthew? We found the Mad Hatter's tea party. Clearly takes place here. They're cool. Mm. It does like look. It's in like a little garden area. Is it your own birthday though? It's my own birthday. It's my own birthday as well. Uh very happy own birthday to you. Say to me. No to me. <laughs> oh it's nice in here. Oh look at that. That would be a nice place to have afternoon tea, wouldn't it? Oh that's a nice big rose. I grew a rose for you, you grew a rose for me. Yeah. Put it in an enchanted jar, maybe we'll talk. <laughs> oh, that one's nice. That's the one I grew for you, sorry. You grew that one for me. Thanks. You're so kind. Not entirely sure why this place is full of Disney things, but it just seems to follow me around. When we were at the aquarium the other day, there was loads of Disney things as well. Uh, not the aquarium, the, the garden centre, and in the fishy bit there was like loads of... Do you know what I mean? What's oh, so nice here. Why does our garden not look like this? How are you enjoying it, my Captain Hook? Yeah. Why is it all like Disney themed? It's really cool. Um, how are you enjoying it, Matthew? It's good. It's nice. It's really nice. I left my phone in the toilet, but it's okay. We got it back. <laughs> that was a bit worrying. I realised straight away, though. I don't know if you can see, but Captain Hook's going that way. Watch him come across. Is he going to come across? Captain Hook, can you see him? <laughs> it's all like. Peter Pan theme, didn't it? And there was Peter Pan music on before, but obviously I can't show you that because it'll be copyrighted. So take my word for it. It's really nice here. Matthew just asked me who Tiger Lily was. It's a joke, I don't know really. No, you don't. You can. Got a nice view, hasn't it? Shame the cathedral. Yeah. Shame the cathedral's got a big bag over it. <laughs> oh, there's the maze. Come into the quiet corner, and there's a giant 
Is it a giant person then? Yeah. Oh, he's asleep. Oh, it smells nice here. It smells like ginger. It does, doesn't it? But that's the calf there. It's that building. Does it look nice, Matthew? It does look nice. It smells good. We got a sticker when we went in and everybody's sticking it on this lamppost, so I'm going to stick mine on the lamppost. I'm going to stick mine there. Everybody else is doing it and all the lampposts along there are the same, so there we go. Oh, Matthew hasn't even weird of me. <laughs> home. Mummy and Daddy are home. Ah, did you miss us? We were so naughty. Look at all this mess. Is this your mess? So naughty. Mm. Go on out then. Go on out. Look at all this. What were you doing? <gasps> you were so naughty. Come on then. Oh, okay then. So we're back home now, we've actually been back about an hour or so. I cannot keep my eyes open. I just went upstairs for half an hour and lay on the bed and I would still be there, but I'm starving. Um, I have no energy at all, I'm so tired from the fresh air and that may is proper wore me out. Cook Gardens and Hall, it's called Cook Gardens and Hall. If you haven't been there, go there. I live around the northeast and I didn't even know it was there. We've like gone past that road before and I don't know how it isn't signposted, like I don't know how we found it, but it's quite expensive to get in. For like students and stuff, it's seven like pound and then it's seven pound fifty um just for like adults and then I think children are five, I'm not really sure, check out the website. Um it is quite expensive, but it is beautiful and I think they have priced it so high because one, the hall itself, the building that we were in, is over 800 years, so it probably helps to like keep it going. And I think it's run by volunteers and stuff. And the other thing as well is that you can pay an annual fee, which means that you're paying £19.50 and then you can just go in as much as you want for the year. So I think next time we go, if we can, we might do that. There's a couple of places we want to do that for though in the northeast, and we can't do it for all of them. But if you can go there, go there. It was beautiful. There was loads of different like gardens. There was like the Shakespeare garden, the secret garden, I think was my favorite. There was so much Disney stuff going on. Um, there was like a Peter Pan theme going on. So there was like Hook running around and Peter Pan. I didn't manage to catch it on like camera, but Peter Pan was running around and Hook was chasing him. I keep saying Hook and I normally say Hook. Well, anyway, Hook was chasing him. And then, um, why did I say Hook? I think it's because I was hearing people when we were out today seeing Captain Hook and I normally say Captain Hook but Captain Hook was chasing Peter Pan I'm just speaking really weird I've been around all these posh Durham folk and now I'm sounding posh oh, Captain Hook was chasing Peter Pan wow I'm tired and yeah um, it was just funny because it, he was really in character Peter Pan because um Hook was chasing him and then I even watched Peter run down this pathway and then all of a sudden Peter was climbing out from behind the gazebo and he was behind Hook and Hook had no idea and he was probably like playing tricks on him like the real Peter Pan would and it was really funny. So I think the Peter Pan thing is going on for the next couple of days but it's not normally always on so I think that's why there was loads of like Peter Pan things around the maze I kept showing you. I think you had to find them all and I think we found them all. Um, there's all sorts goes on, there's like Halloween stuff that's coming up. Yeah, it was just a really lovely place and it's nice for all seasons like because it's outdoors it's like it'll be like spring like in the spring, hot in the summer, like all the leaves in the autumn and in the winter covered in snow. This is not paid by the way, me and Matthew just happened to want to go there today. So yeah, it was just amazing and I highly recommend going there. I am exhausted though, that maze was a lot harder than you think and spoiler alert if you do go on the maze and you want it to be easier go left 
because I said go left and Matthew said go right and right is the longer hard way so if you go in the maze and you don't want to be in there for like half an hour go left but anyway it was really fun uh, I can't get my eyes open like I said so I was in bed but Matthew's gone to the gym and I've come down because he put some food in the oven for me um and I thought I could wait till he gets back but I can't I'm starving so I've come down to get my dinner and I think I'm gonna go back up to bed and watch the first episode of Netflix's Death Note because I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. I've been dying to watch it since it came out on Friday. And it's now Tuesday, so I don't know how I've managed that. But I'm going to go upstairs and get into bed and watch that. I'll be honest, I'm pretty tired. So I think I'll probably have my food, barely stay awake for Death Note. And then I think I'll be taking my makeup off and going to sleep. So I'll probably just call it a night for tonight. And I'll get back to you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I know I need to edit a video. And I kind of need to go to Metro Centre because... I am running out of like foundation and deodorant and a couple of things but I might do that on Thursday. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I am editing stuff tomorrow. I've got tidying to do. I'm not really sure but I'm sure I'll get back to you. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Hey guys, it is the next day. Um, I'm just making myself some lunch. Um, I've been at the computer all morning getting videos scheduled. If you can hear something in the background by the way, the um, the microwave's on because I'm baking myself a potato because I forgot to put it in the oven and it takes an hour in the oven and I'm starving so I'm having to do it in the microwave in 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, I've just been at the computer. I have a Disney stationery magical kind of unicorn, mermaid, even a little bit of Harry Potter in there, stationery haul going up um, tonight. So that's up when you watch this weekly vlog. By the way, I bet this is a really interesting scene for you. Me like mushing up an avocado. I don't know, I'm just getting on with things and making lunch and I just thought I'd catch up with you. But I'm just kind of making myself some lunch and I thought I'd get on with you. And rather than me holding the camera and then mushing up my avocado, I thought I'll just speak to you while I mush up my avocado. So that's why you're watching me mush up an avocado. So yeah, I've just been doing emails. I've got quite a few more things to do with the computer. I also have a video I want to record. It's the Harry Potter canvas tote bag one that I keep going on about. It's ready to go and I just keep having to put it off because of other things. So I'm just gonna carry on, I think because my car tax is due, my insurance need renewed. Like I've just got a lot of like paperwork and admin things to do today. So I'm just gonna get on with all that boring kind of thing. Then I'll spend the rest of the afternoon tidying because I didn't do a lot of tidying over the weekend. Uh, Cause me and Matthew just like hung out and stuff. Um, obviously you'll have seen that yesterday and at the end of last week. So you don't wanna be tidying when you're having fun. So I'll be tidying and then Matthew's not at the gym tonight so he's at home an hour earlier than he normally would be. So I will be making the tea an hour earlier and then I think we're going to watch Bake Off because that started last night. And that'll be my night. Probably have a bath and chill. And then tomorrow I've got some Instagram photos I really need to do. And then I'm going out with my sister to Primark and Met well basically just Metro Centre and a couple of shops. So yeah, uh, I'm just going to carry on making my lunch and getting on with things and I'll get back to you guys in a bit. I look like a crazy person. My hair, my face, lord. Basically I've been at the computer all day today. Um, it's like half five now and to be honest I still have a lot to do at the computer. Like I literally could just spend all of my time doing things on the computer and like I also have a million and one things to do in the house. Like I just feel like I'm always busy but it's a good thing because I get bored so yeah, I just need more hours in the day or more energy. I need more energy. Good lord, look at this. Anyway, yeah, I've just been at the computer all day. I've got more I need to do, like so much more. But it's like half five and I need to tidy. Matthew will be home in like 20 minutes. Um, and I wanted it tidy before he got in. I need to make the dinner. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave the working online at least for the next few hours. Uh, I'm going to go downstairs and tidy. I'm going to go... I'm going to make the dinner. And then I might come back up and do a bit more because I've got a video going up as well. So I need to sort that out and make sure it goes up okay. Um, yeah, if I don't get back to you today, it really is just because I'm doing all that sort of thing and I apologise. But I will try. Um, I will show you one cool thing that arrived though. So I bought these um, on on eBay quite a few weeks ago. Oh, the camera's dying. Um, and I haven't put them up yet. It's basically vines of flowers to wrap around my bed. I haven't put them up yet, but I did put one up to see if it's okay. And how cute does it look, please? Like, especially with the lights underneath as well. Um, but yeah, we'll put up the rest tomorrow, but I better get downstairs and start tidying. So I'll show you the rest of that get tomorrow, guys. Um, but my camera's dying, so I'll get back to you when I can. Just making some homemade spaghetti. 
nearly done. Five minutes and it'll be ready. Hey guys, it's the next day. Look at the state of the sitting room because I've been doing photos this morning. I just really wanted to just get on with it before I got knackered. So I thought I'd just speak to you now and yeah. I'm knackered so I'm gonna quickly tidy this up have some lunch and then I think I'm gonna go with my sister so I'll get back to you guys in a bit hey guys it is a few hours later um so it's actually Thursday I think I spoke to you earlier basically all morning I just spent um the morning like taking photos in this room like since I've set up like the tinsel curtain over there on that wall so I was doing like photos and a couple of like yeah just photos really just things for like Instagram there was some more I wanted to do but I need to wait for some things to come in the post um i am oh my god i can't even tell you how tired i am from doing those photos i was up at seven o'clock i started doing them about maybe eight once i had my breakfast and stuff like setting up and then i didn't finish till like one and i only got like five photos really out of it so yeah i'm just i'm pooped i don't think i look very well either i feel tired my lips are absolutely killing they're just really dry I think it's just because I've been outside a lot lately. So basically, I'm 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 feeling alright. I'm feeling good. I'm just really tired. Um, I've like tidied this room back up. So when Matthew comes back, this room is as tidy as it was this morning. Down here, kind of needs a bit of a tidy, to be honest. Um, actually, it's not too bad in the kitchen. Maybe I'll just quickly go over the sitting room. But basically, I'm going out. I was supposed to go with my sisters. Probably is maybe an hour or two or so ago, but. I've been lying on the bed trying to muster the energy and I was like should I just go out tomorrow but I can't go out tomorrow because great news my packaging for my company is arriving tomorrow I got a text this morning saying that it's coming tomorrow I can't believe it so that's like two weeks and one day and I thought it was going to be like a three week wait so hopefully I should be able to get the the website like the Etsy store all up next week I'm so excited um I can't believe that it's coming tomorrow I'm so excited to see it so, phew, thank I'm so, I'm so glad that's finally coming and getting sorted. So I can't go out tomorrow, so I have to go out today. I need to drop something off at my Nana's. I need to drop something else off at my Nana's, which I've left upstairs. I need to pick something up at my Nana's. My sister wants us to go out and help her do our weekly shop. We both need to go to the post office. We both need to return things to Primark. If my sister didn't have a new baby, maybe we'd get it all done. And I'm not saying I would rather that I didn't have a nephew, but I don't think we'll get everything done. So I'm gonna go out and see what I can get done, even though I'm knackered. But like I said, if I don't get all this done today, it's like, I have to stay in tomorrow till my package arrives and I don't know when it's coming. And I'm probably gonna be out with Matthew over the weekend. And then Monday's our weekly vlogs, Tuesday's Matthew's off. Wednesday, I wanna take some more photos once all the stuff arrives that I couldn't do today. So I won't be able to go to the shops till next Thursday. So that's a week. So I need to get my butt going. So the shops are open till nine at Metro Center. It's not too bad. This looks like it's really blurry. Or is it just my eyes? I don't know. I look really ill though. I look really like, oh, I don't even know. So it's 20 to four now. So it's actually getting on a bit. So I need to get my little butt in the car and go. And hopefully I'll get as much done as I can. And when I get back, oh my goodness, I know I'm going to be knackered. I'm already knackered. So oh, let's just get things done. Uh, yeah, let's go out. I'll take you with me. We've been in Amy's an hour and she's already sent me out to get her a McDonald's. That's her McFlurry before anybody says. But um, yeah, my... Um, order normally takes about 10 minute wait because they have to make it um like straight away like from fresh if that makes sense because um i asked for no meal my burger uh, and the fact that they handed me it straight away i'm pretty sure my order's wrong so i'm not looking to find out what's in this bag and i know i should have checked it before i left but i hate going in and they were very rude as well on the tail and the girl clearly did not understand what i meant by no meal and it's like it's one thing when somebody asks for no meal but out of choice but if i was allergic and she's put me on this burger that would be really bad so i'm gonna go in my sisters and eat this <laughs> goodness knows what's inside and i'll let you know when i get out <laughs>
home I'm so shiny um, I'll explain tomorrow but basically we got to the shops about 10 minutes before they shut honestly my sister is ridiculous but it's really late and Matthew's asleep in bed so I'm gonna get straight to bed and I'll get back to you guys tomorrow good night hey guys it's the next day I look like a mess I need to brush my hair I need to wash my face <laughs> You know, sometimes I'll watch my videos back, like edit them back, and I'm like, why didn't I just make the bed? Why didn't I just brush my hair? Why didn't I just stick some makeup on? I honestly don't understand these people that keep up this lifestyle that looks perfect all the time. I can't be bothered to brush my hair. I can't be bothered to put makeup on. And you guys are great, and you always say you don't have to. You look great, you look fine. So, thank you. We're not gonna brush my hair. We're not gonna put makeup on. I mean, I have made the bed, I just haven't put all my teddies and cushions on. So, I feel like I've been a bit of a crap vlogger this week. Last, I don't think I ended the vlog two nights ago because by the time me and Matthew ate dinner, I was just knackered. Like that seems to happen a lot. But last night, well yesterday, basically I was at my sister's all day. Oh, by the way, my burger was fine. My burger didn't have mayonnaise on and it had pickles on. I don't know how they give it to me so fast because normally I have to wait 10 minutes. So maybe he was like, maybe somebody just happened to be making one of those burgers at that point and I got it straight away because normally I have to wait and it was fine so that was great. I got home and I was like this is gonna have mayonnaise on but it didn't. Well I got to my sister's. So yeah um the problem with going to my sister's is which if you've been following me for a couple of weeks you've probably realized this. She procrastinates like there is no tomorrow. She is literally the world's most, un most, un most unorganized person ever so I get to hers she wasn't ready to go to the shops. I knew this um I had to go to the post office but then her partner was going to go for her because she's like she just was not ready so he actually posted my stuff for me um i was at hers for hours and it was getting to the point where i was like amy i'm starving and we haven't gone out yet and it's like way past my tea time like i'm one of these people that has to eat at least three meals a day with snacks like i have to i don't understand how people miss meals i get bad headaches if i don't eat like i had breakfast like an hour or so ago and i'm already starving and my head's hurt like starting to like try and get a headache because i'm hungry does anybody else get like hunger headaches like constantly honestly i'm such a pig anywho yeah so i was like amy like we're clearly not going to get to the shops for another hour or so because you are still not ready so she was like right you're gonna have to go to mcdonald's and like i couldn't wait till we got to the shops so i went to mcdonald's then i went back to my sister's and we were in the house for, it was honestly about quarter to eight. And I was like, Amy, it's quarter to eight. The shop shut at nine o'clock. I have shops to get around and we still have to get the baby ready and get there. So we got to the shops. It was half eight and the shop shut at nine. That is literally what I spent my day doing yesterday, waiting for my sister. So I apologise. I tried to really quickly get a bit of footage in Primark. I think I got some footage in Wilkinson. Like we went through Wilkinson and then to Primark. And I needed to go to Poundland and exchange something. I need, which sounds weird because it's Poundland. Basically, I bought something and it's broken. I could buy another one, but if I've got the one to return, I may as well return it and like exchange it. So yeah, I didn't get to any of the shops I wanted to go to apart from Primark to exchange some things. And I'll show you what I've got. We're going to do a bit of a haul right now on the bed. We haven't done this for a while. Um, and what was the other thing? Oh yeah, and then she needed me to do her grocery shopping because she can't push the pram and the trolley at the same time and when she has a basket with the pram she doesn't get like a full grocery shop so i was like right i'll help you um so i was pushing the trolley for my sister at metro center asda till probably about 11 o'clock last night um i don't even push the trolley when me and matthew go shopping it's just too heavy for us i'm a weakling like of course i do when it's first done but you know when like you get to the end of a shop and you've got a big trolley and you can't even get around corners so I was pushing the trolley. It kept electrocuting me as well. I couldn't film because I was literally pushing this trolley with all the stuff in and she had so much stuff. I got a few things. I got a new quilt and cushions. How interesting. But they were on offer and they were really like fluffy like memory foam ones. Oh my god I can't wait to put them on the bed. I might do that later. <laughs> Woo! Adulting is fun. Then I went around my nana's because um, she had something for me and I needed to give her something. I didn't get home till 1 o'clock in the morning. So I was pooped. I don't know if I really mentioned that yesterday, but from taking photos, I was so tired and then being out until one o'clock in the morning. Um, I got everything done that I really needed to do, to be fair, but there's still a few things I could have got done and there's still a letter I really badly need to post at the post office. But I got most of the stuff done and I got to see my nephew and he's so 
cute at the minute. He's like getting to the point now where he's 14 weeks old. So he's like smiling and he's on, um, he was getting really bad reflux, but now he's on like proper medicine for it. And he's just so happy all the time. And honestly, he's so lovely. So bless him. It's so much like more interesting for me to be around him, if that makes sense. Because if you're not the parent, and you go and visit a baby all they can really do is lie there but he's getting like more like interactive and stuff now so he's really cute so yeah i was at my sister's till one well i was i was out till one and then i got back home matthew was in bed bless him i got straight into bed and i woke up today at half 10 which i never do but i clearly needed that lie in of course when i lie in i get headaches though so my head is a bit funny today um i don't even know if i mentioned it last week but i'm trying to meditate to help with my headaches um, so I started doing that last Saturday if you watched last week's vlog and I've meditated most days but not every day since Saturday I do it at the balcony doors like here on the morning and I haven't had a headache since Saturday my head's trying to have one a day but that's just because I had a lie in um, and I'm just tired from yesterday I want to have a bit of a meditate today actually in a bit um, it's getting on though because like I had a lie in like I don't like doing that I even missed the weedy bin men I can't remember the last time I've missed the weedy bin men the weedy bin men well mine don't come to like one two o'clock and the day I have a lie in they came and literally that was what woke me up I could hear the weedy bin men outside I was like really so anywho so I'm trying to meditate I don't really know what I'm doing but whatever I'm doing seems to be working because I haven't had a headache since last Friday and I started meditating on the Saturday so that is very cool um, try meditating if you have a headache or get stressed easily. When you meditate, I think you're supposed to concentrate on your breathing and stuff. So I really do need to look into how to do it properly. But what I do is I just sit at the balcony doors. We have a lot of bird feeders out at the minute. So I just kind of like chill and close my eyes and think about happy things and try to relax whilst also trying to think about my breathing and probably not doing it as properly as you should like i said i need to look into it but whatever i'm doing seems to be working because my headaches are already a lot better i feel a lot more chilled i had a lovely four days off with matthew but unfortunately he's now back at work um i don't know what me and him are going to do over the weekend though he is in tomorrow morning as well so yeah that was a bit of a catch-up um i think i said yesterday my packaging was coming today my packaging for my brand is here. I haven't opened it. I'm going to open it with you guys. I'm so excited. I also have two packages to show you. One I haven't opened, one I have opened. And I'm going to show you what I got in Primark last night. It's not very much, but I'm going to show you. So we're going to start with the packaging because it came just before my breakfast and I am dying to open it and look at my packaging. So let's open my packaging. So if anyone's new to my channel, I think I mentioned it yesterday, but basically I'm launching my own like brand. I'm starting with jewellery, but I'm going to do a lot of things eventually. And... Yeah, I've ordered some packaging for the jewellery to be sent out to you guys in. I'm trying to go for like a luxurious kind of brand kind of feel. Um, I'm so happy. Oh my god, I can't wait to look at this packaging. I hope it's okay. I'm really nervous. I did originally ask on Twitter what I should call my brand. The problem was is that I was thinking of like Disney-esque like inspired names. And eventually I don't just want to do Disney stuff. I'll, I mean, it will be predominantly Disney and at first it will be probably completely Disney like inspired stuff I'm obviously not like Associated with them. But yes, I feel like I'm gonna be doing a lot of things over time So I literally just called it Sarah Louise Porter. So the, pa the, the packaging the Etsy will all just be Sarah Louise Porter I just feel like it's easier and um, just to keep everything under my name Just because I'm it. Hey, are you gonna come up? Hey the button's down there. He's looking up on the bed, but I don't know if he's coming up. But yeah, I just thought it was going to be easier if I just kept everything under my name. In case anybody wants to find my store, it will just come up as Sarah Louise Porter. So let's open my packaging. Okay, so I'm going to open it first and get the box out of the way because it's got my address on and I can't peel it off. So I'm going to get this open and then we'll get it out. Mm. Okay, so the, the box is weird. It opens this way, but I can see some of the packaging already. Ah! Oh my god! oh my god that's my name oh my god ah! oh i'm so scared now what if i launch and nobody buys anything ah so i bought basically the first thing i'm going to be selling on my store is bracelets and um, i'm going to do a full video on it and i will like include it in the weekly vlogs and stuff so basically if you buy a bracelet it'll come in a box that you can keep it in um, a very nice box that I've designed and then it also comes in a pouch to keep it safe and if you want to like transport it and just things like that 
um if you want to be wearing it when you go to disneyland you won't have to like carry a box in your bag i've thought of that you can like put it in this bag and keep it in the bag and it'll keep it safe and like nice and clean and tidy and just not get damaged oh my god it's got my logo on so if you don't know what my logo is it's on the top of my youtube it's on my instagram it's is it on my instagram oh it's not on my instagram but basically it's everywhere else oh my god oh my god this is amazing ah! so um i went for pink and like white and just very me i feel and the bags i went for a very luxurious kind of um velvety kind of feel with like gold i just want it to be very princess so look so this is the little pouch that your bracelet will come in if you order one so that is my logo if anyone recognizes it so it's my name it's the lips because like i like beauty things and i like to think sometimes i'm a beauty blogger obviously the little magical one because i'm a disney blogger and the shoe because i'm also a fashion blogger and i just feel like i designed this myself i just like feel it's it's me you know um yeah and this is like a velvet it's oh my god it's so luxurious it's such amazing quality like i am so happy with this right now and i did gold and i just thought this was very princess-esque like pretty gold and pink and you can store your bracelet in here when you're on the go or even if you just want to put it in your jewelry box and keep it separate from your other jewelry and keep it nice and like clean and oh my god i'm so happy so if you order one of the bracelets it'll come in this bag which will also come in a box which i'm going to get out now and show you Oh, I can see them. Oh, it's just opened the other way. Oh, oh my God, that is crazy. Okay, so I've just set one of the boxes up. And here it is. Ah, I'm so excited. So if you get one of the bracelets, it comes in this box. And then inside the box will be a pouch with the bracelet in. Look at it. So I'll give you a close-up. So that is my pink logo on there. Look at it. It's so shiny and cool. So I went for a white box just because I wanted it to be really clean and pretty. Um, when I bring out like special edition like Halloween stuff and like Christmas stuff and Valentine's stuff and like I'm just going to bring out loads of cool things. I'll get like different boxes for different collections. So that is the white one and the pink. So look at it. I'm so excited. So when you get the box, if you open it up, ta -da, then this will be inside with your bracelet in. How cool is that so then you can like you can store all sorts of things in this box it's like a good size like it's a sturdy box like i have made sure that you guys are getting the best packaging so how cool is that and then you can always like take this with you when you take your bracelets to disneyland and things and oh i'm just so happy i'm so this is definitely exactly what i wanted so how cool is that i'm already starting to look at halloween bracelets because i'm going to bring out like a halloween range and yeah how cool is that though? So I'm really, really happy with that. So I need to get pictures of all the jewellery and start getting it up on the Etsy. So I think I'm going to do that now because I've got my boxes. So all I have to do is set up the Etsy and I can set up shop. So as soon as I know, which I'm guessing will be before the end of this vlog and um, when I'm editing it, I will know what day I'm going to like start my shop. Like open it i will put on the screen now because i'm guessing when i'm editing i'll know when i'm going to open it because all i have to do now is take up like take the pictures and then start putting it all on etsy and sorting it out so the angles probably changed because the battery just died so i had to get a new battery but i knew it was going to do that so i had a new battery ready and it will just be sarah louise porter on etsy please please go and check it out and see what bracelets i'm selling i'm going to be doing a whole video or possibly the day that the um the store goes up i will be putting up a whole video on my bracelets and everything that i'm going to be selling so i will make sure to update you with like new releases and like halloween releases like in the weekly vlogs because you guys are my favorite you guys come back every week Shh, don't tell everyone <laughs> if you've been following me a while you'll know i've been talking about opening my own store for so long and i didn't want to launch it until it was ready for you guys like i didn't just want to send the jewelry out in envelopes like i wanted it properly packaged and luxurious and like the best i can for you guys so i am really trying my hardest to make this the best i can for you guys because you guys deserve it i couldn't do what i do without you guys okay so i thought i had two packages but I don't, I just have one. So I'll show you the stuff I got from Primark yesterday and then I'll go and get that other package and we'll open that. So I just took a few things back to Primark that I'd like changed my mind on. Um, nothing like interesting like or I would have showed you. And if any of you follow me on like Primark hauls or possibly if you've seen my festival princessy glitter makeup look, I talked about this palette. 
But basically, I have been after this palette for so long, I can't even tell you. And when I was in Primark yesterday, they had it and they had loads of them as well. Pretty much every single one had been opened though by stupid people that are rude and want to ruin it for everybody else. Excuse my anger, but like, why would you open one when there's a tester one and stick your fingers all over it when somebody wants to like buy that? And pretty much every single one was like that. And it was like, okay, if someone's gone and done it because it isn't a tester, why doesn't everybody test the same one that's been opened? So I was raking for quite a while and I managed to find one that I'm pretty sure hasn't been opened. So I hope that's in focus, but this is the palette. So it's absolutely loads of glitter eyeshadows. Now, I'll be honest, I'm pretty sure this is just going to be Vaseline <laughs> with glitter in it and it'll be horrible on the eyelid, but it looks pretty and we're going to give it a go. It says glitter eye cream and normally when you get eyeshadow like this that's cheaper, then it is just like Vaseline with like, you know when you get like kids makeup and it's just Vaseline with glitter in. So I think it's gonna be like that, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a go. What I really should have done yesterday is all the opened ones, I should have had a look at one of the opened ones and seen if it was just like crappy glittery eyeshadow rather than buying one and finding out at home. But I didn't want to be that person that stuck my finger in something that somebody was gonna buy. So I don't know. Plus I was also in a hurry because the shops were shutting in 10 minutes and I was with my sister. I don't know why I'm sniffing it, but it doesn't really have a smell. So it says it's cream eyeshadow, so we're gonna go for this blue one in the middle and see what it's like. Yeah, it's basically Vaseline with glitter in it. <laughs> That's annoying. Uh, hmm, it's even worse than I thought. So I'll show you what happens. So you get a little bit out. So I've got it on my finger and I don't know if you can see that, but it is just clumping backwards and forwards like into lumps I really don't know if you can see that it's just clumping basically um put it on sparingly on top of normal eyeshadow and it might be okay but as an eyeshadow on its own, it's just going to be a Vaseline-y sticky base on your eyelid. So I'll be honest, I kind of knew it was going to be like that. Ugh. The thing is, is that I was returning something without a receipt because I couldn't find the receipt. So I couldn't get like my money back. I had to swap it for something. And because we were in a hurry and I knew I wanted this, I just picked it up. But I really should have tried it before I bought it. Um, yeah, it's not very good. It could be nice for like putting on the cheeks at New Year putting on like if I do like another festival glitter look it would look nice around the skin but honestly I don't think I'd recommend it it's a bit of a shame but it does look really nice it was four pound so they've got like a new kind of mermaid makeup squad thing out and I'll be honest it was very expensive there was a lot of things none of them really took my fancy apart from two things one was a set of five jumbo body crayons but they were like five pound and i was like i don't really go out very much to places where i'm gonna be able to draw on my skin like on my body and be like look at my like pretty colored drawings on myself it's a very cool idea and i might have bought them if they were two pound but five pound no so these were also five pound um, I don't know if I remember showing you, but a few weeks ago I bought a stamper when I was down in London from Primark and it was a black heart and I was like stamping it on my face every now and then and it was really good and I paid like a pound for it or two pound. So this is a set of four for five pound, which again I think is expensive for Primark, but it come in really nice pink like blue and green, no blue, pink and purple like pastely colours and there's a heart a star and a moon and then there's a black smiley face so they are expensive for fiver but i actually do think i will use these colors like on my chicken things and like i said i was just trying to swap them for something really quickly i was wanting things in the harry potter range but um basically i'm after the slytherin hoodie which i have been informed by a lovely lady on instagram that they are not out for a couple of weeks uh primark has said that they sold out really quickly that like particular slytherin hoodie sold out really quickly and they're not going to be out for a few weeks again and I'm also after the deluxe dressing gown, the bunton, and the headwig cushion. So I'm after a few things still, but I don't think I'm going to get my hands on them, to be honest, unless they all get restocked, and I happen to be in stores that day. But anyway, the next thing I got was these, because I had a couple of pounds left to spend um, 
like I said I couldn't get my money back I had to exchange so I used lights like this when I made my enchanted rose if anyone's seen that DIY it's basically these but these are pink Primark didn't used to do these types of fairy lights but I seen them and I was like they're really cool um I got mine on eBay just clear ones to do my enchanted rose but these are pink so they look really cool even when they're wrapped around something because it's like pink so I'm gonna find something to wrap these around you might have noticed that I actually ended up putting these two flowers on here that I said that we were probably going to do it together but basically when I was taking photos yesterday um I ordered four of these like two meter flower things um so that's one which I put on the other day and I showed you that's two so I definitely need some more because it doesn't go around the whole thing I still haven't decided what I'm doing I think I am just going to order that color another three times and put it along here um but the other two are downstairs because I use them for photos and where I've put them I actually like them and I think I'm going to leave them there so one's on the lamp in the corner of the sitting room and I hate that lamp and it makes it look so much nicer and one's on my coffee table that I painted quite a few weeks ago if you watched me then so yeah there was just this one randomly left over so I just quickly put it on to see what it looked like so I literally just wrapped them around they're on ebay the 99p they took about a month to come but I need to order some more but I think I'm going to wrap this around maybe the bed as well uh, I'm not sure these lights you can't even see them there's fairy lights under the flower like garland and they've been on there since we moved in and I have had them so long and used them so much that even changing the battery doesn't make them any brighter now like the old I need to replace them so I don't know whether to take them off and replace them with these and then put the flower thing back on I think that would look really nice with the pink until I get a chance to paint the bed so a lovely lovely lady on Instagram who watches my videos Janice hi Janice um she messaged me and she was like Sarah I know you've been trying to get your hands on the Slytherin pins from Primark and she wanted to send me them as a gift she picked them up for me and she said she watches my videos and she just wanted to say thank you for my videos and I was like oh that's so sweet so I always say like you just don't have to send me anything like please don't make like please don't feel like you have to send me anything but look at this card as well so she sent me the pins and she put Sarah just a little gift to say thank you for brightening my days Janice and it's like it's like the original Sleeping Beauty um like artwork and oh it's beautiful on the card there how cute is that i absolutely love it i love it and it was just so nice just just oh just thank you janice so yes yeah, just sent me the pins that i've been after from primark i've never seen any of the house pins in my primark my primark's normally normally quite good and i think on release day metro center was good when i first went and i happened to go when the release day was and i got loads of stuff but ever since even the newcastle primark hasn't really had a lot and um, I think it must have just sold out really quickly and I just didn't happen to be there on release day so yeah Janice got me the Slytherin pins which I really really wanted so how cool are these so there's like the Slytherin like um Quidditch flag there I think that's what that is then like the Snook and Harry Potter I'm guessing that's not Dobby is it Dobby I don't know if that's Dobby or not because like um oh like what Sirius is how self called oh it, it eludes me right now but i'm not sure if that's him then it says slytherin then the deathly hallows sign and honestly i just think these are so i mean they are like metal as well and the silver and they're only like three pounds so i mean obviously i didn't pay for them janice gifted me them but if you're after them for yourself and each house got like a focus each house got like a set of these as well so and i haven't seen any of them in my store so thank you so much janice because i really really wanted them and i just really appreciate it it's just really kind like you didn't have to do that for me so thank you so much janice so i always get like loads of messages and emails from you guys and it honestly brightens my day and i try my hardest to reply to everybody i can't always reply to everyone because it's getting to the point where i'm getting so many messages that i always read them and sometimes it might take me a little while to reply but I will always read them and I'm sorry if I don't ever reply just because it gets lost but I do try my hardest like I'll spend like a good morning um replying to YouTube comments like hours it took me four hours to reply to all the YouTube comments the other day I'm not even joking um like honestly I appreciate it so much I just want to say that if you ever message me and I don't reply um I'm sorry it just might have gotten lost and I try my hardest and I really do appreciate everyone's comments but I did actually get a message the other day that like I don't um I'm not saying that I can always do this for everyone and now I sound like a pompous YouTuber but basically I get so many messages that um I can't always promise to do everyone's I wish I could honestly 
um, but somebody messaged me the other day basically and they've put um, basically somebody has messaged me because their wife has been down in the dumps lately dealing with personal issues so she's not been in the best mood I guess um, and she is called Lizzie so Lizzie your husband Dan would like you to know that um, that, she, that you are his princess and he loves you and he will help you through anything so Lizzie that is from your husband Dan he messaged me and like I said I can't always do every shout out but that was just really cute I thought and uh, yeah I hope Lizzie's okay and Dan that was really sweet of you to do that for her so I just wanted to give a little shout out there so yeah that was everything that I got at the shops yesterday and all my packages that have arrived um this week so I'm absolutely unbelievably starving now and I want to meditate and I also need to edit a video and I've got a lot of things to get on with so I'll probably get back to you guys quite a bit later now because I really just need to get on with things but yeah I'll get on with things I'll try and update you like before like well into the evening because I'm terrible at doing that and uh yeah so let's get on with things <laughs> since I last spoke to you I have oh hey bun bun's just woke up since I last spoke to you I have literally been in the bedroom the whole time i stopped for lunch went down and got lunch and brought it back up i have literally been up here um i got all of my jewelry um started sorting it out started taking stock just started getting things sorted it is took way longer than i thought i don't know when the last time i spoke to you was maybe about one o'clock but it's about quarter to seven and i've literally been in the bedroom the whole time and i haven't even managed to get photos taken of the stock i've just been getting everything sorted and it's like i can't set up the store until i get the photos taken but i've literally just been getting on with things and i think i'm going to be getting on, on with it all night and it's so exciting and i love it but it's taken a long time and my head is absolutely killing and it's my own fault i didn't stop and meditate like i said i was going to uh, I might still actually I might still meditate but I really need some food so um Matthew will be home in like half an hour and I haven't even like tidied or nothing like I feel bad I mean he really doesn't like mind at all bless him in, in fact he'll probably help me like sit and do like the jewelry stuff when he gets him from work um so yeah I'm gonna go downstairs and try and do a bit of tidying I haven't done any washing or nothing he asked us to do washing and I didn't do any oh, I've just been literally sat doing this all day like it's so exciting though I just want to get it done so yeah, I'm going to go downstairs and do some tidying and then I guess I'll make some dinner for me and Matthew and then I'll carry on up here. I've already started posting a few sneaky peeks on Instagram though, so make sure you follow me on Instagram um, if you want to see stuff that's actually going to be going for sale on my Etsy. But yeah, I'm just trying to get things sorted and it's just another another day of sitting in doing things, which is a really fun day. It's just not fun for camera and I feel bad. But yeah, I'm going to go downstairs because my head's banging and start doing some tidying and then... um. I'll make the dinner and then I'll carry on doing what I'm doing. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry I'm so boring. So because I feel like the world's worst YouTuber ever, here is a preview of one of the bracelets that I'm going to be selling. So this is my bell bracelet, yay! So they're like a charm bracelet, they've got this on so like the charms don't come off, like a little, um, I don't really know what you call these, but basically when you open the bracelet, this stops all the charms falling off. So we've got, this is a bell bracelet, this is the bell inspired bracelet and um, they're all going to be given names and things and I'm really excited but this one's got like crowns on it and it's got like Belle's dress on it and I just love it, like I love the colour scheme. So these are not real silver, these are silver plated. So basically I have one that I wear all the time and mine's is the Disneyland Paris 25th anniversary inspired bracelet which if you watched my Disneyland vlogs or my Disneyland Paris lookbook then you'll have seen. It does mean that they aren't real silver so obviously you can't like I wouldn't recommend wearing them in the shower and things but I wear mine all the time and mine hasn't tarnished it hasn't been ruined like honestly they are really good quality I'm not just saying that Um, I've been testing them out I've been making sure they're all great for you and I wouldn't sell them if I didn't believe in them so I absolutely love mine and honestly I just think they're great quality and I'm just really excited to get you guys wearing them too so I just thought I'd show you a sneaky peeky of the bell one this is the bell one I'm going to be doing lots of different princesses um, I'm going to be doing lots of like bracelets that aren't princess as well just like general kind of Disney inspired ones I'm not associated with Disney these are not official Disney merchandise I have to say that uh, but yeah, so here's the bell one. I just thought, I'm going to have to show you, aren't I? Because I feel bad that I'm just sitting, getting on with things and I'm not really recording. But how beautiful is it? I absolutely 
adore it and I'm going to be doing the bracelets in different sizes so please check the size when you order it for instance this is a size 20 um 20 centimeters which is too big for me our size 18 so some of my bracelets are 18s and some are 20s um if you require a different size let me know and we can get you ordered a size in because obviously I don't want everybody wearing a bracelet that's too big or too small for them but I went for a 20 and an 18 because I think that's going to just like fit everybody really so yeah, anyway, I really need to go and get on with things, but yay, look at my bell bracelet. She's so pretty, isn't she? Right, I'm going to go and get on with things, guys. I'm going to bed now, guys. It's quite a bit later. We had tea, we watched Magic Mike XXL. <laughs> Haven't seen that since the cinema. And yeah, we're going to sleep now, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. Ooh, I'm out of breath. Um, it's about one o'clock. I think I mentioned it the other day that I'm trying to start meditation and I've had one headache since I started meditation a week ago today. And that headache was nowhere near as bad as usual. It was in a different place. I think it's just because I had a lie in um normally it would be a lot worse and it was also because i didn't really take care of myself properly yesterday so it was yesterday i am um, i should have stopped to meditate and do yoga and i had a really late lunch and yeah considering all that it was nowhere near as bad as usual which was really cool so yeah i've just done a little bit of yoga a little bit of meditation on my balcony i've got both the doors open it's a lovely day there's not a cloud in the sky but it's not very warm because i guess it's autumn now which I'm so excited for autumn, but I'm really enjoying my morning like meditation at the balcony doors. Pretty soon it'll be too cold to have these open. And Matthew will be home from work in like within the next 20 minutes. Uh, he could come now, he could come in 20 minutes, I don't really know. But I was thinking that me and him could just sit and chill all day. I've got stuff to make a cake. Um, we could just go through my packaging. Um, I'm going to sort out my store and just have a really nice chilled kind of productive day in the house together. Um, and then tomorrow I think we might try and go out because uh, he's off tomorrow. I'm thinking botanical gardens because I love it there but I'm not sure. <laughs> There's none left? Yeah, but there's a little bit left but... Oh. Are you helping me Matthew? How do you eat this book? Helping me biscuits. No, we having tea, and we sorting out boxes and organising, aren't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got this in Asda the other day. It was reduced to four pound fifty. I put enough in there for two and a half cups of tea, and it's done two tea. So it is the size of two cups of tea then. We're halfway. Got half the boxes done. We've stopped to make a cake. myself a bath. I'm going to stick a movie on and when Matthew gets back with his run we're going to ice the cake. Oh. My. God. <laughs> Look at this coffee cake. Oh. Iced by yours truly. And we've got dinner on the go as well. Look at all those pans that need washing. We've got dinner on and we're going to sit and chill and watch a movie and have dinner and have cake. What were you just saying, Matthew? <laughs> You're looking forward to getting a new duvet. It's like being in a hotel. I want to open a pair. I'm <laughs> so happy right now. It's like being spoiled. Oh my god, they're so squishy they don't fit in. The ones just used to slide in. Oh my god! No, 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 no. Can you turn that one? Yeah. Like a pillow. Look at it, it's springing up. Did you see that? Even fluffier! Oh! 
Goodnight. Did you scare him? Where? Where is he? <gasps> Mousy! Oh, I missed him! Oh! Oh, I got him on camera, bless him. <laughs> Just. We've got a mousy. He's eating the bird seed. How cute. So the bird seed drops off the balcony. That's the bird hanger there. And it falls down there. And we've got a little mousy coming out from under the fence and eating it. Hey guys, it's Sunday. I think I tried to speak to you earlier. Um, I was trying to show you like where I meditate um, and the camera died. So yeah, me and Matthew are going to go out now. It's about one o'clock. Um, so it's getting on because obviously the shop's shut at four. But yeah, it's about one o'clock and we're going to go out. We need to go grocery shopping and we kind of want to go somewhere nice for the day. But it's Sunday, like that's the problem. Like Matthew's main day off is either Sunday or Tuesday. So Tuesday's okay, but on a Sunday... Everything's kind of shutting early, so we need to go grocery shopping and we want to go somewhere else, but we'll have to see because time's getting on. So I'll take you with us, but I'm not entirely sure what we're up to. Got in from the shops and we've decided to make the rabbit like a little buffy so we've done this for the rabbit because he hasn't had a lot of veg the last few days because we need to go to the shops so should i put it on the floor for him oh okay matthew got me a yoga mat and obviously i had to get pink and i got my first piece of halloween merchandise this year because we went into tk maxx and there was quite a lot out so I got this candle holder and I'm going to spray it. Pink, obviously. And I got the last one of these. Jasmine. I've got all of them now. Oh, time to put all this away. I also nipped into Poundland and I got Christian Aguilera Back to Basics for a pound. And Spice Girls, one pound. Although Matthew <laughs> could not believe that I was buying this. Spice Girls were awesome. Well, they still are, even though they don't really exist. I'm literally so tired from the shops and all we did is we went to an antique place which is really cool because I love that sort of thing and I've been dying to get like more antique furniture in my house it's very expensive I knew it would be so we didn't get anything but I just wanted to have a look around it was really cool there was a sofa I wanted the thing is though it was very quiet there was nobody there except for me and Matthew and then the shopkeeper and his wife or his girlfriend I don't know um I mean they were obviously together and um yeah like he wasn't following us around, but it was just very awkward. I mean, I had a really nice look around, but it really wasn't the kind of situation where I could whip the camera out. So I kind of tried to record a little bit in there, but I couldn't really record much. I tried to take a few pictures as well on my Instagram and like put them up on there. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. But yeah, so we just went to the antique shop. We went and pet at home, um, Poundland, uh, TK Maxx, and then it's all like a row of shops. And then we just went to Asda and did the grocery shop. So everything I got for myself other than groceries, I showed you downstairs. I'm so excited by all the Halloween stuff though. Um, I think I tried to show you some Halloween stuff actually. Had a very good night's sleep. My head, my neck, not anywhere near as sore as it normally is, Matthew, with the good. the pillows. And you said yours was better, wasn't it? Yeah. Um. So yeah, we're um, just going to chill for a bit. We've just put the shopping away. And we're going to make dinner. So I'll get back to you guys in a bit because I'm going to get changed into my jammies and chill for a little bit and I'm gonna have a cup of tea because it's only five o'clock and I can still have a caffeinated cup of tea for the next hour I don't drink caffeine tea after six o'clock or I won't get to sleep so I'm gonna quickly get changed and have a cup of tea and then I'll get back to you guys in a bit well I have to apologize because it's quite a few hours later so 
so out of breath. Why am I so unfit? The last time I spoke to you, I think I was like saying that I was gonna take my makeup off and put my pajamas on, which I did. I went downstairs, I lay on the sofa, and I don't know what it was about today, but I just couldn't keep my eyes open. And me and Matthew, he made dinner, I collapsed on the sofa, and then we watched the extended version of Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring, which we've actually seen all of them before, but we just fancied watching that one. So we watched that, and it's now like 11 o'clock. That's all I've done all night. It's a four hour movie. I've lay on the couch for four hours and watched Lord of the Rings and eaten fajitas and ate coffee cake from yesterday. That is basically what I've done. So I do feel like this vlog has been a little bit boring because I haven't gotten out much this week. But it's just because I've been sorting out the company stuff that I'm trying to launch. And also I didn't do a third video this week because most people on Twitter said they wanted two videos. And it wasn't deliberate to be honest, it was more that I was busy trying to sort out the company. Which I'm thinking I'm starting on Friday. So when you watch this vlog, hopefully my little shop will be open the following Friday. So it was because I was busy with that and also because people said they wanted to see two videos. So I'll do between two to four videos a week depending on how busy I am. But that was basically this week's weekly vlog. So I'm sorry if it was at all boring or yeah, I'll um, hopefully be getting the business sorted this week. Have a quite a busy week this week coming. Um, I've got like a lot of videos to record, I've got the business to sort out. I've got a couple of places I need to go so I've got a lot to do. Um, but yeah, that was kind of it. So hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>